Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you're off to a great start. I know I am. I'm so excited about 2020. Kelly Rowland currently has over 10 million followers on Instagram, and that's what you'll get when you were a member of one of the biggest girl groups of all time. She's also had a successful solo career, having released four solo studio albums. Everyone knows her song When Love Takes Over, and she's parlayed her fame into an acting career, having appeared in the seat filler. If I was a regular Joe, would you be here with me? Of course I would. What kind of question is that? I date a regular guy as long as he's comfortable with who he is. Freddie vs. Jason and more. I mean, come on, get real. You're not even scary. You're not even scary. Having accomplished so much, it only makes sense that Kelly is living a more relaxed lifestyle since her Destiny Child days. But that doesn't mean she's done with show business. I'll explain more in just a minute. She has, however, made time to get married to her former manager, Tim Weatherspoon, in 2014, and soon after gave birth to her little boy, Titan. Why did the cow cross the road? To move to the other side. No, he, he moved to go into the bathroom. Hey guys, it's Kara, and I've already covered Kelly's house tour in a previous video dropped on this channel. We thought we would take a deeper dive into what she's been up to with a classic biography video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and leave a comment for who to do next. How about some of the other members from Destiny's Child, or how about the Spice Girls? I love making you guys new videos and connecting with you guys on Instagram, so hit me up in the DMs. And now, let's roll that intro. Kelly Rowland was born Calendria Trinae Rowland on February 11, 1981 in Atlanta, Georgia. She is the daughter of Doris Rowland Garrison and Christopher Lovett, and she's an older brother named Orlando. When she was six, her mother left her father, who was an abusive alcoholic due to PTSD from the Vietnam War, and Rowland went with her mom. At the age of eight, they relocated to Houston, and in 1992, Rowland joined an existing girl group originally named Girls Time, where Rowland became the sixth member of the group. Girls Time had been active for two years prior to her arrival on the scene. The original lineup consisted of Beyonce, Robertson, Roland, Tamar Davis, and sisters Nikki and Nina Taylor. The six girls competed in Star Search but lost the talent competition, leading to Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles, to take on the role of manager to help push the group towards success. He quickly cut Davis and the Taylor sisters, adding Latoya Luckett in their place. Girls Time eventually changed their name to Destiny. They were signed to Elektra Records but dropped several months later before they even had a chance to release an album. In 1996, Matthew secured the foursome deal with Columbia Records and Destiny's Child was born. I'm Latavia, the youngest, the baby. Teeny yes, Weeny, that's the sassy one. Yes. And I'm Beyonce, and I'm the second youngest. She's a serious one. Like, you know, the overseer of it all. <laughs> and I'm Kelly. I'm the sensitive one. Miss Emotional. <laughs> yes. And I'm Latoya. I'm the crazy one. Their self-titled debut album was released in February 1998 and included the hit single No 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 Part 2. Destiny's Child released their So For More and Breakthrough album. The writing's on the wall in July 1999. But what have you guys been up to lately? I mean, is there a second album on the way or what's going on? That's right. Yeah, we Definitely. have a second album on, on the way. Right. Okay. Coming out May 1st. We want everybody out there to go check it out. It spawned four hits, Bills, 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 and Bugaboo, Say My Name, and Jumpin' Jumpin'. Beyonce announced later that year that Luckett and Rob Robertson have left the group. Management made a decision. There was nothing that Latavia and I could do about it. Did it hurt? Absolutely, because we were friends. I went to school with these girls. They were replaced by Michelle Williams and Farrah Franklin. A much publicized battle with Matthew followed Luckett and Robertson's exits from the group. They accused him of unfairly favoring Beyonce and Roland and keeping more than his fair share of Destiny's Child's profits. Beyonce, I understand you are the leader. Right, of the group, or well, the I seen Lee. Oh, you seen Lee? Yes. Oh, okay. So, on, do you all have like arguments, like sisters, at, at times when you have, you know, we have we have arguments, but not about um, singing lead or oh no, no, no got no, none no. of them arguments. The group faced another setback when Franklin abruptly just left five months after joining. Now a trio, Destiny's Child released their third album, Survivor, in May 2001. It became a huge success thanks to the singles Independent Woman Part 1, Survivor, and Bootylicious. Shortly after Survivor's release, Roland and Beyonce started branching out as solo artists. Kelly collaborated with Nelly on Dilemma, while Beyonce started spending time with a guy known as Jay-Z. 
Destiny's Child came together again in the studio in 2004 to record their fourth and final album, Destiny Fulfilled, which was released that November and included the singles Lose My Breath, Soldier, Girl, and Cater to You. When we say Destiny F Fulfilled, you know, it's just surpassing anything that you could ever dream of, and that's what we've done. But when everything just blossoms and it grows and things just happen naturally, and it's just your destiny fulfilled. After embarking on a world tour, the trio announced their split in 2005, saying in a statement that they wanted to leave on a high note, united in our friendship, and filled with an overwhelming gratitude for our music, our fans, and each other. Beyonce, Roland, and Williams have only reunited on stage a few times since their breakup. Most recently during Queen Bee's 2018 Coachella performance, but they've remained best friends. Roland has released four solo albums including her 2002 debut Simply Deep, which came out while Destiny's Child were still active. Her hits include Like This, Motivation, and the David Guetta collaborations Commander and When Love Takes Over. She began dating her manager Tim Weatherspoon in 2011. She announced her engagement to him during an appearance on the Queen Latifah show that same year. They were married in Costa Rica on May 9, 2014, with guests including Beyonce and Solange. That same year, she announced via Instagram that she and Weatherspoon were expecting their first child, and on November 4th, 2014, Roland gave birth to their son, Titan Jewel Weatherspoon. Not one to ever slow down, Kelly branched out into acting with a guest stint on the sitcom The Hewleys back in 2002, before appearing in other UPN shows such as Even Girlfriends in the year of 2003 and 2006 respectively. In 2002, Roland was cast for her big screen debut in the slasher film Freddy vs. Jason. The following year, Roland returned to the big screen, this time for a lead role in the romantic comedy The Seat Filler starring opposite Dwayne Martin and Shamar Moore. Roland also had a supporting role in the motion picture Think Like a Man and continues to work steadily. In more recent years, she has also become a popular TV personality, judging The X Factor UK in 2011, The X Factor USA in 2013, and The Voice Australia since 2017. Kelly continues to stay active on social media for her 10 million IG followers and appears to be enjoying her best years yet while also focusing on a variety of philanthropy projects. As for where does she go from here, well I think it's safe to say that she's already experienced a lifetime of success and if you want to see where she kicks up her feet, be sure to check out our recent house tour video we dropped for you guys which I'll link to at the end. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know what videos you want to see next. I'll see you soon, bye!